her doing its thing. As you notice, there's a little bit of filament inside still. Uh, it looks like it's doing its test of the uh, height of the print bed. Now, I didn't put any glue or any type of adhesive on the bed. From the first round, it already looks like it probably should have had some glue because the filament is not sticking. So there's some stuff that needs to be done. I'm going to go ahead and stop this print because uh, that's just not looking very good right now. See anything coming out? And I've reloaded the filament. Okay, the filament is starting to finally come out. But not very pretty. Let's stop it and start this thing over again. stop it and I may need to go ahead and put more glue in that particular area. This is something I wanted to capture uh, which appears to be a design flaw. It's that hanging wire will sometimes get stuck and there you go. A few minutes into its run uh, I'm already experiencing a lift. So the uh, filament did not stick to the uh, Interstate. Now the, the the issues I'm having right now is just creating that first layer to stay down and as you can tell right here uh, during the process it curled on the corners. My first successful print which uh, really did turn out very nice and completely uh, clean without any warping uh, does have a slight issue and that's where it looks like it's split uh, pretty close to the base so I mean initially I thought well you know this kind of sucks but I then remembered that ABS it doesn't go all the way by the way just in this section of it but uh, as I was saying, ABS uh, can be acetone welded. Uh, I've not tried that before, but for something like this where, you know, I was fairly close on a successful print, I'm gonna give it a try. So I have some uh, regular nail polish remover where the ingredients is acetone, and hopefully this will be enough to provide that chemical bond that I need in order to uh, repair it. So I've got a Q-tip and I'm just going to line it up and put a little bit in. Really soak it in there. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough to make a good seal. I'm actually going to go on the inside as well. So the, um, the result after repairing it with acetone is success. It's completely uh, sealed and uh, repaired. Uh, the crack is gone. And I have my Hero 3 Plus here to test the new lid out. 
So I'm going to go ahead and install it. The fit is quite nice, and I'm <laughs> pretty, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, but I will say up front, um, <laughs> it took three days to make this one print that came out successfully. Uh, granted, it was a lot of trial and error, and uh, uh, there were definitely a lot of things that. Um, one does have to do to set the uh, solid doodle press um, in order to get it to print uh, successfully and I will definitely be uh, creating a video on the different uh, things that um, that needs to be done um, and probably just mention the things that I tried that didn't quite work out um, because the videos I initially had had a few curse words and f-bombs throughout that process. But I will say that also that uh, once it is uh, set up and running, um, I didn't have any more issues as far as getting that first layer down. So um, you know, thumbs up. Um, I feel much more confident now after uh, um, this experience for just trying to get this one print out. And I'll definitely be sharing uh, some uh, of these successes with the occasional hints of failures just for uh, curiosity and humor's sake. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.